All right, hey, Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I do give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakak Badash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Simo Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And according to the Holy Scriptures, we're God's chosen people. Shalom to all the beloved brethren out there, pushing this knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters and shalom to Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad. And what's looking at is a true depiction of who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. Okay. And what's looking at is a true depiction of the world ignorantly called God, who the world ignorantly called Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. Or you call upon the most sign his son, you must say Yahweh Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh means he to be or he is. Baha Hashem means in the name. And Yahweh Shai means he delivers. Our Lord and Savior is coming back to deliver the elect out of the nation of Israel from the destruction of modern day Babylon, aka America. I'm going to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and Barak the Yahweh. Rocket the Yahweh Shai. Rocket the Yahweh. Rocket the Yahweh Shai. The body Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai for another blessed day. The body Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai for the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. The body Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai for this opportunity uh, to teach this word in sincerity and truth. And the body Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai for all you beloved brethren out there pushing this knowledge in sincerity and truth. Yeah, man, I've been um, out of town for a couple of days, visiting my family over there in New York, or not, man. And I'm back, so pretty much gotta get, you know, get these videos up, get these shows up. So yeah, man, so we gonna get straight to it. Give me no praise to you, how about Shimmy, I was shy. Start off uh, Habakkuk chapter um, two. I started uh, Habakkuk two. Verse 4, it says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. Whose soul that is lifted up is not upright? The Edomite soul, their spirit is not upright. The Heavenly Father has created them to bring transgression in the earth, to bring sin in the earth, to bring wickedness in the earth. Now everything is backfiring on them. But the just, dealing with the elect, we're living by faith, all right? Faith is the evidence of things not seen and the things, I, I, wanna, I wanna butcher it real quick. I don't wanna butcher it, let's go to Hebrews 11 and one. Hold on for a second. All right? Hebrews chapter 11, verse one. Now faith is the substance. It, it is the substance, it is the core value of this truth. You have to believe of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen for by it the elders obtain a good report through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of god who is the word of the most high yahweh shai is everything that you see you you know see today on this planet was created and, const and constructed by yahweh shai and the alahayim through the most high yahweh so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. So everything that we do in life takes faith. You gotta believe you're gonna accomplish a task. You gotta, you know, you gotta push yourself. But this truth right here takes the ultimate faith. There's only a, a, a few, a small remnant of souls the Heavenly Father has endowed this information unto to truly believe uh, in this chaotic world that we're living. Okay? And Lord willing, we all make it. All right? So read it again. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Yea, also because he transgressed by wine, dealing with the Edomites, he is a proud man. Neither keep it at home. And this transgression by wine, dealing with his, um, his philosophies, all right, it's ideologies that he's been pushing forth throughout the earth through war, through conquering, through extortion, 
through bombing, right? Who enlarges his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied. But gather unto him all nations and heap it unto him all people. Shall not all these take up a parable against him, a taunting proverb? Against him and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. All right. How long? It says, How long? All right. Question mark. And to him that laid in himself with thick clay. So that's dealing with his debt. So this is not what this lesson is about. Dealing with the taunting proverb. All right. So these nations are rising up against, against Esau and his military right now. All right. I got a video on this. So let me get this uh, the NLT. Dealing with these Marines as being that got embarrassed in Turkey. NLT, but soon their captives will taunt them. They will mock them, saying, What sorrow await you thieves? Now you will get what you deserve. You have become rich by extortion. How much longer can this go on? Keep this. People are under arrest after two U.S. service members were attacked on the streets of Turkey. The suspects belong to the Turkish Youth Union, an anti-American group protesting the war in Gaza. Let's bring in senior Pentagon reporter Louis Martinez for more on that. Louis, what are you learning about this attack and how are defense officials responding to this? Diane, this is an isolated attack that appears right now, and it appears that this group is trying to get attention because they obviously had cameras rolling when this incident took place. We know that this was a U.S. Marine who was on the streets of Izmir in southwest Turkey because the USS Wasp, an amphibious uh, ship, had just made a port of call so that when that happens, the Marines and the sailors aboard are usually time, given time off on land. And what happened here is that it appears that this Marine was assaulted by this group of about at least more than a dozen individuals uh, who then started pummeling him and putting a bag over his head. Additional Marines then came to his rescue, um, and we are told by the U.S. Embassy that everybody is safe, but of course, very concerning. And we must point out that this group that you mentioned has not has done this before, like going back maybe as far as more than a decade. Uh, there have been other incidents where they have again repeated assaults on U.S. Uh, military service members when they have done ports of call in Turkey. They are opposed to a U.S. military presence there and to NATO as well, um, so they're looking for some publicity, though yesterday they did tie this event to the uh, ongoing situation in Gaza. And more than a dozen people are under arrest after two U.S. service members were attacked on the streets of Turkey. Yep. So, yeah, man, America's military might is losing its grip. So you're dealing with a taunting proverb right now, man. And these things are going to escalate. All right? Because you will no, no longer be the bully in the earth. It's not nothing but chaos and destruction the United States military has brought forth throughout the earth. All right? They are they are destroyed nations. All right? Destroy uh, heritages. All right? Man, the hammer of the earth. So this is prophecy taking place. Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and awake that shall vex thee, and thou shalt be for booties unto them. <laughs> shall be booties unto them. All right? Suddenly, your debtors will take action. They will turn on you and take all you have while you stand trembling and helpless. So this is a prelude. Was going, was going, this is a prelude of things to come. This is a prelude of things to come. You know, this this check, you know, these verses dealing with the debt based system. But it's gonna be you know, these things gonna be gonna be done systematically. The world the, I mean, the whole world is seeing how how weak United States forces are. Alright? And uh you won't these these United States military would not be safe in any different areas when they um when they get docked for port liberty. Right, because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of because of men's blood and for the violence of the land and of the city and of all that dwell therein. All right, see what the NOT says because you have plundered many nations through war, through bombings, 
the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, right, and various other evil um, acts the United States military has done throughout the earth. Now all the survivors will plunder you. You committed murder throughout the countryside and filled the towns with violence. And that's what you've been doing ever since you became a world super force. One of the most heinous ones is what, what you've done to Libya. Um, with that guy, um, Gaddafi. Um, Saddam Hussein. So all these different nations are remembering. The most sides put in, in the spirit of the different nations to remember these things. You see? And, and you know, more of these things going to escalate for the few, the proud, the Marines and these soldiers. You're not going to be liked in the world, man. Woe to him that coveted, coveted an evil covetousness to his house that he may set his nest on high that he may be delivered from the power of evil so dealing with the elites you know all the wealth all the technology they have um pretty much has gotten through their blessing they're going to try to escape their judgment okay and, and uh, set a nest on high international space stations deep underground military bases because there's no escape Thou hast consulted shame to thy house by cutting off many people and has sinned against thy stone. So what is it going to lead to? These nations shall hate the whore. All right? These nations are going to hate the whore. I believe Turkey, Turkey is part of EU and NATO when I looked it up. Okay, so this is Revelation 17. Let me see. Start at verse 16. And the ten horns, did with the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, European Union, which thou sawest upon the beast, oh, these shall hate the whore. The whore is dealing with America. And shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh, dealing with the nukes, and burn her with fire. Please gonna get burned with nuclear destruction. But God had put in their hearts to fulfill his will. See? To fulfill his will. <laughs> they, they totally embarrassed that Marine. And and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of God be fulfilled. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigned over the kings of the earth. So it's dealing with America. It is military might. So these nations eventually is going to turn against America's military forces, America, and they're going to shoot their missiles over here. So these things are systematically happening financially, e economically, and military-wise. And it's all according to biblical prophecy. So Lord willing to edify and listen to very elect. And the body, how by Shimei, I was shocked. Give me the spirit. Finally get back in the groove of things. And more videos to come. Brakti hao, brakti hao shai. Shalom.